Welcome to another episode of Daily Gym. Every now and then I make an episode about what I've been doing recently to improve my efficiency, effectiveness and productivity. In previous episodes, for example, I talked about a vision board, having a whiteboard or a blackboard on which I write my objectives for the next few days, weeks, months and years, which ultimately functions as a guidepost. Whenever I get distracted, I can look at it and I'm reminded of what I should be working on, what I set my, what goals I set for myself. In another episode, I talked about batching tasks together, basically tasks that are similar in nature and doing them together in, in the same period of time. What this allows is that it reduces the time spent switching between tasks, reducing the burden on, on your brain, on your mental capacity, but also getting rid of a lot of wasted time that usually accompanies switching between tasks. So what have I been doing recently to improve my efficiency, effectiveness and productivity? Over the last couple of weeks, I've installed a kind of system in which I break up my week into three parts. The first part are usually my Mondays and Tuesdays, which are my maintenance days. All the activities that need to be done for the business in order to keep it running, or expectations or promises I've made to other people. So it involves a lot of calling other people, uh, setting appointments, doing some business development, making videos like these, editing them. Then I leave the Wednesday and Thursday as much as possible to implement two big new things. One big thing is for the business and one of them is for my private life. But ultimately these all kind of tie in together, of course. So what does this look like? For instance, my business, I spend a few days setting up my YouTube channel in one week. In another week, I send, spend time setting up everything for podcasts, which also involves, of course, editing and making thumbnails and visuals and things like that. Then in my private life, for instance, I really try to change my sleeping pattern I tried to focus more on exercising. There was even a week in which I started doing uh, meditation, which I've never done before, but because so many successful people were talking about it, I thought, let me, let me put it into my life. Let me insert it into my, make it one of my habits to see what kind of benefits I get out of it, which then leaves the Friday, the final day of the week. And on that day, I do two things. The first, or to start with the latter one, is at the end of the day, at the end of the week, I always make a list. A list of things that can be improved of things that I've been doing to make the small incremental changes as well as what big things I should change or introduce into the business or my private life. This basically makes me finish the week so that I can go into the weekend simply enjoying my other parts of my life but already knowing when it's time for Monday what to focus on. And at the same time because I think about radical innovations or changes, big improvements as well as incremental ones I always, it always allows me to pivot and at the same time keep this snowball effect, this compounding effect going of improvements over time. So what do I do during the rest of the day on Friday? It's basically implementing whatever small changes I didn't have time for during the rest of the week. Some changes I can already implement on Monday or Tuesday, the bigger changes I implement on Wednesday or Thursday, and on Friday I wrap it all up. I pretty much do not do anything that has to do with maintenance or something that really involves a, a big task but all the small things that I couldn't fi figure out, I was spending time on that. By making my structuring my week like this, I've seen tremendous progress within myself as a person, but also with the business over the last one month or so, since I've been doing it now for about four weeks. I'll of course continue to do it like this and see what the future will bring. And in a few weeks, I'll have another episode to see what other changes I've been making. So why have I made these changes? A lot of these changes are based in psychological factors. For instance, the batching I mentioned before, the visualizing, but also by introducing one big new thing every week, I think that I'm able to keep up introducing new aspects to my life that allow me to form habits over time, which then allow me to make the incremental changes needed in order to free up more time for new things. There are also other factors in, in play, but that will be left for another video. See what you can use from how I've been structuring my week to improve your own work or your own life or making these improvements with relationships or other aspects of your life. If you enjoyed this episode and you were watching this on YouTube, be sure to give me a thumbs up as it really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. And if you're watching this on YouTube or listening to this on podcasts and you're enjoying this episode and other episodes I've made, be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you're informed whenever a new episode comes out. That's all for today and for this week. I'll be back with another episode on Monday. I wish you all a nice weekend and have a nice day.